friends, welcome back, and thank you so much for joining us here today for episode 18 of A Detoured Path, where we fully and firmly believe that sometimes the only thing we all really need in life is just a little reroute. My name is Chelsea Marie Manger, and I'll be your host here today and every day on A Detoured Path. So to all our new and returning listeners out there, if you're finding yourself in need of a little reroute, are already meandering down that unforeseen pathway in life, whether by choice, force, or somewhere in between, or just interested in possibly thinking about things a little bit differently, this could be the show for you. We will be sharing personal accounts, stories, and a variety of perspectives in order to help us all gain a greater sense of community and connectivity in this little thing we call life. Just a little disclaimer before we begin, though we do try to keep a mostly G and or PG rating here at A Detoured Path, we are discussing life, and life is not always G and or PG rated. That's just something to keep in mind in case you are listening with any little itty bitty tater tots present. Chelsea, tell me a story, imagination, infatuation, with things real and not yet seen. Wanting glory should tell a story to preoccupy these parts of me. Some of us need constant stimulation, and I mean constant stimulation in our lives. Mental, emotional, physical, creative, you name it. Let the dismal world be thrust upon us when boredom looms so ever-present. Let the gloomy clouds open up and may the dreary rain and lightning commence with glory. Let the earth shatter and ricochet with debris from imagined earthquakes near and far. Let the black holes of sorrow and depression grow strong and deep with every minute. Boredom is when dating the obviously wrong person seems peeling. Boredom is when combative behavior takes precedence. And boredom is when the best decisions in general seem to go out the window in favor of something or someone more seemingly appealing, exciting, and intoxicatingly invigorating. You would think, by the description, that an individual such as this must be an Enneagram 7 type within the Enneagram personality test. Enneagram 7, the enthusiast, the busy, fun-loving type, spontaneous, versatile, distractible, and scattered. But no, not at all. As it turns out, this individual is an Enneagram 8, the challenger, the powerful, dominating type, self-confident, decisive, willful, and confrontational though descriptions in both instances are the watered-down bite-sized versions and quite a condensed form of the full equivalent. Self-confident, absolutely, positively, 100% of the time in this Enneagram 8 individual, is somewhat debatable, but the rest of the description is pretty much right on target. Once again, that was the quote-unquote challenger. Powerful, Dominating, self-confident, decisive, willful, and confrontational. You mix all that with the constant need for stimulation and the monumental life necessity to always have extreme enthusiasm backing any and all things worth a grain of salt in life, and you have the potential for either moving the highest, steepest mountains in the form of achievements and accomplishments, or the potential to create life-altering ruinous storms, a.k.a. disasters. In either instance, everything is completely dependent on whether the energy of said individual is channeled in either a helpful or hurtful way. Use your power for good and never for evil. Use your power for good and never for evil. Use your power for good and never for evil. Come on, self. Use your power for good and never for evil. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I must be good. 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 But... (laughs) 
You see, that little mischievous gnome just always seems to just want to come out and play. Oh. My. Gosh. There is quite a sliding scale for everything in life, and everything is on some sort of a swinging pendulum of a spectrum. Will it swing left, or will it swing right? A little to one side today, and a lot to the other side some other day. All you have to do is fall within a certain range, and you are considered fine, good, normal, adequate, good enough, but that doesn't necessarily mean you actually are. Think about it. When it comes to weight, as in the weight of a human being or a pet, for example, there is actually quite a wide range of pounds per height or kilos per height you can be in order to be considered healthy, healthy enough, and normal. But that doesn't mean you actually are. In school, there are so many possible grade point averages you can have in order to be considered passing. But that doesn't necessarily mean you actually are proficient in the subject matter, truly understand the material, and are really ready to move on to the next level. In financial circumstances, just a hint above making a certain monetary amount, and you might get boxed out of qualifying for certain insurances, financial aid, and other forms of assistance. Although you are actually making quite below what may be considered a livable wage in comparison to the quantity and cost of your necessary living expenses. One number reading in either direction on a blood test and your thyroid could be considered low or normal. And yet the test result diagnosis of normal versus not normal does not necessarily mean that you still don't suffer from any of a number of thyroid related issues or conditions. Nor does that one point higher towards that normal range suddenly make them all go away. Everything is on a swinging pendulum and that includes the propensity for evil. No one ever said that all of the world's deadliest criminals legitimately had all of their mental screws loose. At some point, a number of them were probably just regular people doing their regular people things, and then something happened, a life event or circumstance, or a buildup of life events and circumstances, and the pendulum swung just a little too far in one direction and opened up a cavern that had been sitting deep down underground that probably always had been there. We all have these caverns. We all have these underbellies. We all have these deep, dark places sitting there, buried within us, lying just below the surface. We can use them, or we can be abused by them. If we can learn how to use these potentially destructive forces in a constructive manner, we no longer are a slave to the potential danger we could self-manifest and create. As of recently, she proclaims, I have made the active decision to embrace my shadow self. Normally, I would rather live in a world that is always full of sunshine, rainbows, and sparkly pink unicorns that fly, and that is often how I like to present myself to the world. Cheerful, happy-go-lucky, not a dark cloud in the sky, a glass-is-always-half-full kind of person. And generally, just like a life-size animated version of a vibrant Lisa Frank photo. The truth is, I always just imagined people would like me better this way. Who wants to be surrounded by the human equivalent of what I like to call an Eeyore anyway? As in the donkey from Winnie the Pooh. You know, down in the dumps, everything is gloomy and always glum individual. No, not me. That's for sure. However, I will have to say that making the active decision to embrace my shadow self has been quite intoxicatingly liberating. She doesn't put up with people's garbage. She doesn't put up with the stupid nonsense. She sets her boundaries and she sticks to them. She speaks up when she needs to. She doesn't tolerate anyone saying anything overly offensive or inappropriate. She says what she thinks in social situations, even when it is not the most popular opinion. She does not hesitate to lay down her values and then be elevated by them. 
she stands on her own two feet. She does not apologize for being herself. She is a boss. And she is absolutely, positively fabulous. Thank you so much for your time and attention thus far. We are just going to take a brief moment to recognize today's sponsor, Anchor, for providing a free platform for people like myself to get their podcast off the ground. With little to no previous technical know-how, Anchor makes the whole process pretty straightforward. Go to anchor.fm, that's A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M, or download the free Anchor app today to get started. With just a click of a button, you too can be heard on multiple platforms. Yes, she is a boss. Okay, so how is she a boss when the she that we are speaking of here has evolved out of what we have deemed the shadow self? If everyone is a swinging pendulum with the propensity to sway in either direction on the do good or do harm spectrum, how does our underbelly self, our little gnome self that lives underneath the stairs, our little troll of a person that creeps out at midnight, grows bat wings and flies, then turn into the catalyst that drives our goals, our dreams, and our direction towards everything we have ever wanted forward? Our shadow self doesn't play the safe route, and our shadow self acts on instinct. But the divide between being a go-getter and an atrocity happens in the moment when the energy used is funneled out in a manner that is focused, poignant, and moving in a way that does not barrel through other people or oneself. What does that mean exactly? It means the energy has become a laser beam rather than a wide-angled lens, and the laser is completely detached from anything or anyone that has the potential to pull it off course. An example, a customer in a checkout line is rude, obnoxious, yells, and curses the store, threatens to never shop there again, and demands to see the manager for a host of real and probably imagined reasons. The cashier could overly apologize, taking full responsibility for the entire situation that is not their fault, by the way, or they could let their shadow self take the lead in an effective, efficient manner. Here's the differentiation. The shadow self not channeled effectively by the cashier maybe drops some FUs at the customer, screams back at them, and a shadow self really out of control might get physically violent and need to be restrained. A shadow self in control might say something like, I'm sorry things are not working out for you today, and I'm sorry you are having a bad day, but the reality of the situation is, dot 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 and we cannot control these factors you talk about because dot 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 so if shopping here really makes you that unhappy you are allowed to take your business to another establishment there is no need to stand in line and yell and hold everyone else's day up and dampen the mood of the entire environment in the store i hope the day improves for you and have a very nice day she this girl is in complete control She is astute, she is direct, she is precise, and she does not back down. She has a spine. She never threatens, but she does stand her ground. She owns her space, but yet she never tries to take, steal, or dominate anyone else's right to their own space. She doesn't need you to tell her how quietly powerful she is, because she knows how quietly powerful she is. She is a complete and utter rock star, and her use of leaning into her shadow self in order to take control of the situation, keep everyone physically, emotionally, and mentally safe, and move the negative energy through, out, and along is possible for us all. It becomes a matter of sticking up for yourself, knowing your boundaries, and honoring them. A tree doesn't rip from the ground, roots exposed to all, just because the wind happened to blow by. The strongest trees grow both up towards the sky and deep down through the ground. 
And like this tree, we all can be strong. And on that note, friends, I believe that is all we have time for today. Thank you so much for joining us from wherever or whenever you are doing so today. Feel free to comment, message, support, donate, and subscribe on whichever or whatever platform you are joining us here from today. We are available and searchable internationally on over 21 platforms, but going directly to our host platform, Anchor, is the best way to stay in the know and get connected. That's A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M slash A dash detoured, D-E-T-O-U-R-E-D dash path, P-A-T-H. Leave a review and a rating if you liked what you heard, and hit subscribe to get all the latest podcast updates and information. By choosing to support and donate, your generous contributions will help to continue the workflow, volume, and frequency of a detour path so that we can continue to flood your airways on a more regular basis. Let's help bring back the demand for creative artists again. And if you feel like someone you know could really benefit from listening to today's episode, please feel free to share it and pass it along. In the meantime, if you're looking for more thoughts, stories, and insights while you're waiting for the next episode of A Detour Path to come out, you can find the book Short Girl Diaries, unedited and grammatically incorrect by Chelsea Marie Manger. Last name is spelled capital M-A-U-G as in great, E-R as in red, which is available on Amazon in both print and Kindle formats, as well as through the Kindle Unlimited program where you can read pages for free. Find us on Instagram by following at Chelsea Marie All one word, C-H-E-L-S-E-A-M-A-R-I-E-M-A-U-G-E-R. Stop by and say hi. Say the podcast sent you. And if you find yourself stimulated to write after listening to one of the topics discussed on a detour path, you can find quite a slew of journal designs available for purchase on Amazon. Just type Chelsea Marie Manger journals into your Amazon search engine and a plethora of journal choices will pop up. We are adding new selections every day, so be on the lookout for new and other additions to add to your collection. And if you are looking for a little more quote unquote self audio talk therapy, we are pleased to announce that we have been asked to be a regular speaker, mentor, and host on the new Wisdom app. Wisdom can be found for free in your friendly neighborhood app store. The logo is a profile of a purple person with white headphones on. Connect to be a guest on one of my live talks or catch the replays. So, until next time, my name is Chelsea Marie Manger, and you've been listening to A Detoured Path, where we fully, firmly believe that sometimes the only thing we all really need in life is just a little reroute.